I'm Janet Trevino and I have a lot of new stuff that's coming up. I haven't made a video in a while and so I want to share with you some of the questions I've been asking myself and thanks to one of my viewers here, um, especially well, one on YouTube, has been able to kind of shape some of my thinking. So whenever y'all reach out, send me a message, you know, and we get a chance to talk, it does make a difference and it it's really inspires me. So this was the question that was brought up. What does it mean if I touch you there or there or how about there? So what I usually do in a lot of my sessions and conversations I've been having, it's like I've been most interested in making sure that you can access touch, the touch that feels good, the touch that you want, the touch that's self-care for you, as well as for those of you who um, need to be reintroduced in touch, into touch, that's really important to me as well. But there's a whole other world that I'm now exploring, which is what does touch mean? So asking, like if I would like to touch your ear, what does it mean? What does it mean to me? What would it mean to you if I touch your hair? What would it mean for me? What would it mean for you? If I hold your hand, what does that mean? What would that mean for, for you? Um, so asking and, and really getting to the intention behind touch, I'm finding is, is very intimate conversation. It's one that I've never heard people, people have before. You know, we assume that when we offer somebody a hug or when they, when they receive a hug from us that we both have the same intention as to what that means and it's not really true not true at all so think about it you know we're usually so worried about like sexual or non-sexual I really want to begin the conversation around wanted and not wanted so before you touch me before you give me a hug before you ask to hold my hand before you put your arm around me I'm really curious what does it mean to you what would that mean and as I get clear on, on me and myself and reaching out to touch somebody else and asking first, of course, you're always asking, like, uh, maybe I would ask, can I, you know, can I hold your arm, right? Like I'm walking down the sidewalk or something, can I hold your arm? And really getting clear, what does that mean to me? And what would it mean for them? Again, the intention behind touch it goes really deep if you can imagine um, and I want to start having these conversations and seeing what comes up what comes up for you what do you, what do you think about think about the last person you touched or think about the next person you touch and think what does it mean and does it mean the same thing right again ultimately it's you want to make sure that you're both communicating the same thing through touch um, so again let's think about this and I love your comments mm, love you